All right, my people, welcome back to Critics News, where we they give you no information. For two days now, we don't see some kind of information where we say that they bring on top social media. We are they say that the Eastern Security Network operatives say they capture some foreign terrorists inside there, some parts of Igbo land. Now the video I go show now. Now we we don't they see you and say hmm. Now what will I do? And they say that these people say some of them now be the full and hate me. We say that they control cow, take them, they invade villages to destroy uh, farm produce, farm crops, and destroy the farmers as well. I go show on the video and I go want make on pay attention to what they said um, in that particular video. Now, on a similar information or news spreading on the social media, they said that Zamfara Governor Lawal has reacted as court freeze bandit, that is full and terrorists as well, following an order from Abu, from Abuja. That's to show you what's happening in Nigeria now. See, if these people then commit crime, you just hear Kai, Kai, leave and make it they go uh, house. Now, so police, no, you know, go talk anything. Have you won't, you won't run. When all that they come from Abu. Now, waiting, I don't turn on and say, oh, this is where they talk, say, oh, uh, this, uh, waiting, they call them. Um, these DSS people, they no agreement we enter, they no agreement we meet in Nam the Kano, they no agreement we get access. No be them. They are these people are under instruction. They just deter them with thing that they do. And if you don't do that, you lose your job. So the problem is coming from the up. The no police officer go they stand for checkpoint, they collect money if the DPU no send them. Yes, the DPU knows that they are standing at that checkpoint and extorting money. So even the DPO is expecting his own share. You see why the corruption don't go stop? Because you can't tell me that, oh, somebody will report to police station and as a report finish, he go carry gun, they go main road by himself. You know, the DPO is aware. He can only react, you know, do back, 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 when you go to say, oh, DPO is a good man. No, you know. Now, because he know you, now I make him be good man, but to people we no know anything, anything will be Paul Massey, Saga, that DPO, now we too. According to the information we have here, they say just in, ESN Special Squad intercepted a group of foreign Fulani militia dispatched into Biafra land. It's very important everyone support hash IPOB stroke hash ESN to dismantle these marauding Fulani terror groups invading Biafra land. The invasion of our land by these foreign terror groups is a serious issue, but some of our people are not seeing the danger facing Biafra land. From interrogation, the ones speaking broken Igbo language claimed there are many that have already entered in different states in the southeast and south-south, just that they missed road and were intercepted. He claimed there are others coming on their way into Biafra land. On the same, so everybody needs to also be at alert, secure your environment, have your vigilantes in different villages to also respond in case of any distress attacks. Now, according to them too, they say that the Fulani terrorism has become the systematic weapon of war that Nigerian government wants to use to destabilize and conquer the whole of Southeast region. Now, waiting the right concerning this uh, particular terror that we are witnessing here, which is what you have on the screen. I go play on the video, make an always time because we have to move to Zamfara State to understand whether waiting these IPOB people they talk, whether not true, I've been a lie. Now, whether not IPO, IPOB they lie, I've been a true, they can't they tell us. Say, then they deploy terrorists, Fulani jihadist bandits inside Southeast. May they go to destabilize just like they are destabilizing the North. Okay, we are going to find out. So let me play you this video. If I walk in your city, if I walk in your city, Obukaru, 
Oh, I don't see waiting to happen for the video. Hey, <laughs> we well, day, my people. Oh, this year. Oh, now they see waiting to happen for the video. People will be say they won't go this artist now, according to the information from here. They say these people say no Samara, they say then they go. They even carry trucks. And they say no be only demo. Say another group of people did. <laughs> and one now will be say they don't manage to stay for Igbo land for some time now. Begin to hear Igbo small small. Now I can't they lead them. They go where then they go. Maybe after they don't deploy this uh, group. You go still go bring another group. You go follow driver, go out. They will go load another group of terrorists. Come enter there. Some of those people who now they see their pictures now, believe you me that they are their brothers when they farm, where they sponsor them, where they help them, where they supply them with uh, the, the right for ammunition, where they take the operate. That is the only thing I see in that video. All those ones will be their brothers farming. Then they farming. Now then they give them that intel. They train them. Because these people have formal training. They are not just operating alone. They are not just operating on their own. So something is definitely wrong somewhere. So President Tinubu wanna do fast and put this regional government very fast so that everybody will know their side. I mean, you know I want to manage your side. So when you cross him with uh, this criminal mindset, uh -huh, uh, you, you understand? This is totally unacceptable. Imagine a governor is complaining that for any terrorist that they captured, we are released because of an order from above, a governor. That means that, you know, you don't even have control of your state. People can call from Abuja and say, oh, yo, 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 kai, 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 leave them, leave them, leave them, leave them, make it they go and for mama house. Now, what did they did there be that? <laughs> eh, hey, it's okay, oh, it's okay, oh, it's okay, oh. make I read them. Now, they say that uh, the Zamfara state governor, Dao Dalawa, has faulted <coughs> state judiciary for granting bail to some Fulani terrorist bandit leaders who were arrested with weapons and brought before the court for trials. Now, they say, when IPO go to complain, say, oh, they know they try terrorists for this country. 
We will say, for we are not like you. We will try them. And we will say, oh, we, are, we don't catch up many. We don't do this one. Story. So what is happening here? No, be me talk about now the, the governor, a sitting governor, like they talk this one, well, now no go. If they say now for Southeast, now they for say, oh, now make up story. Now still propaganda. Ebos and their distance, all of them now the same. This one as a far state, northern people too. And they complain. The governor claimed that the suspected bandit leaders were released by order from powerful individuals in Abuja, who he said had been communicating with the Fulani terrorist leaders. According to him, these powerful individuals had assured the suspect that they would regain their freedom immediately after being arrested. He disclosed this during the swearing-in of new magistrates in Gusau, the Zamfara state capital, while also commending the members of the judiciary for their diligence and integrity. He further stated that one of the suspect, suspected bandit leaders was traced to Bauchi State, where he was arrested, while the other one was apprehended in Gusau, the state capital, and both were arraigned before the court. Governor Lawal tasked the new judicial officers to execute their job according to the new rules of the engagement, advising them to work with integrity and honesty and to justify the appointment for the collective interest of law-abiding citizens. Now like this, they tell release terrorists too. Not no level, no level. The, the chief magistrate was there. The governor was there. But they were all overruled. So what are you telling me? So... That is to show you that even if they arrest you for your own state and they say you don't do anything, but as I said, if they demand for your presence for Abuja, say, oh yeah, carry on, come here, you go collect. Whether you do anything, you don't do. Okay. Your governor will not get any level to stop them. <laughs> what are they for this country, shall uh, Bless her, I can't get the video of this uh, matter. I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch. I may not bless her, I just didn't hear no matter. Governor Dowd Lawal of Zamfara State explains that one of the suspected bandit leaders was traced to Bochi, where he was arrested, while the other was picked up in Gusso, and they were charged to court for prosecution. But the court granted them bail based on an order from some people in Abuja who had assured them that they would be released. The governor warned the judiciary to fear God and discharge their responsibilities with the utmost integrity and honesty for the collective interest of all the law-abiding citizens. He noted that everyone is aware of the challenges Zamfara State is facing, including banditry, kidnapping, cattle rustling, and other sundry crimes. He says all hands must be on deck to tackle them. I recognize that the good people of Zamfara State require a judicial system that protects the rights of citizens of there's like a system of justice that gives every person fair and equal access to administration of justice and guarantees their dignity, rights, and security, regardless of gender, influence, or any other societal differences in that process. It is for this reason that this administration prioritize on the improvement of the justice sector. The chief judge of Zamfara State, Justice Kulu Aliu, charged the newly sworn in magistrates to live up to the expectations of their offices, as all eyes are on the judiciary. I therefore congratulate you on your well-deserved appointments. What I will be proud of you. The judicial office is not an office for luxury and enjoyment. It's an office saddled with very serious and enormous tasks that only people with strong character can deliver its demands. With cooperation and support of the said government, under the ever leadership of His Excellency, the Executive Governor of the Forest State, Dr. Dodo Dawa Dr. Muso, we do all we can to see that you are assisted in discharging your duties. Governor Dowdy has been talking tough in recent times, accusing some prominent individuals whom he believes sit in Abuja and initiate negotiations with the bandits in the state without his knowledge. 
the action he thinks is worsening the security challenges in Zamfara. And he said with the right political will, mm. the troops can end banditry in two weeks. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Tribune, I don't hear. <laughs> no, me, they talk that one. Tribune, I don't hear. People sit down for Abuja, they use from the, they, they discuss with the K, manana, manana, K, menene, bandit, terrorists. And you tell me, say, you go stop. You know, go stop. And that is what they want to spread to the southeastern part of the country. I beg, help me touch the share button. Share this video, but then they see them. Share and make our people day at a lot. How Oh, go another news. Before we do that, I beg um, in case you want to send money from UK, USA, UAE, EU, and Canada, go Nigeria. I beg me gonna use this better app with the call tap tap send. And use my promo code over there with the call critics news. They will give you five pounds, five euros, and ten dollars on top of your money, plus the one of uh, UAE. They will still top your money. Uh, that's a good news. That's a good start. You understand? Thank you and God bless.